Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to learn a bit more about the Unit Service Plan. This is one of a series of videos designed to help you learn quickly how to use the Unit Service Plan to provide better service, helping units provide quality scouting programs to youth. This module will explain how to develop a collaborative unit assessment. The topics we will discuss include the importance of collaboration, developing relationships, and understanding motivation, an overview of a unit scenario, starting the process by scheduling a new contact for a future date, collecting initial input from key leaders on the unit's strengths and needs, completing a collaborative assessment in Commissioner Tools, and what comes next. Collaborative assessments are a new approach to unit service. Not all unit leaders are going to immediately understand it. Some may not immediately accept it. Unit commissioners should do their best to gain acceptance, since each unit will be best served through a customized plan. Sometimes the only alternative will be to build a plan based on the unit commissioner's assessment of the unit's strengths and needs. Unit service plans based on a collaborative assessment will have the greatest impact, however. They provide greater focus. Done well, unit leaders will value unit service because it meets the needs the leaders identified. Greater satisfaction will increase unit leader acceptance of a collaborative approach to unit assessment and plan development. Relationships are the foundation of effective collaboration. In fact, relationships are the foundation of effective unit service. When beginning to serve a unit, a commissioner's first goal should be to establish an effective relationship with its key leaders. Communication, understanding, and honesty will be needed. Mutual trust and respect are the intended results. Through this process, unit leaders should come to understand that their unit commissioner has only one objective, to help the unit better serve more youth through scouting. The unit commissioner should gain an understanding of the unit leader's motivation for volunteering and scouting and their vision of the unit's future. Some leaders are more focused in their service. For example, their goal might be to help the unit through a transitional period or to see a specific group of youth achieve a particular goal. Other leaders may have a broader vision of the unit's role in their community. Neither perspective is better. They simply are different and will impact the development of a plan to strengthen the unit. Once effective relationships have started to develop, unit commissioners will likely gain greater acceptance of a proposal to discuss openly the unit's strengths and needs. Those discussions will result in a collaborative assessment, which will serve as the foundation of a unit service plan. Again, unit service plans based on a collaborative assessment will have the greatest impact as they provide the greatest focus to everyone involved. Here are the key characteristics of the troop our unit commissioner is serving. Our unit isn't perfect, but there are positive things that can be said for it. Let's see how our new unit commissioner might help its leaders build upon their efforts to date. In an earlier segment in this series, we discussed how a commissioner could develop an intermediate assessment using the detailed assessment function in commissioner tools to capture initial thoughts about a unit's strengths and needs. We can see the completed assessment with a rating of 2.5 on our unit's dashboard in Commissioner Tools. We can also see another contact has been created and scheduled for a future date. Upon opening the scheduled detailed assessment, we can see that other has been selected as the type of contact, making it possible to use the free form field to indicate unit service plan as the purpose of this contact. When a detailed assessment is created with a date in the future, the names and email addresses of the unit's key three are displayed, and there is also a new button displayed, Send Unit Assessment to Unit Key 3. That button gives our commissioner the opportunity to begin the development of a collaborative unit assessment 
by inviting the key three to provide their feedback on the unit's strengths and needs. Our unit commissioner may know of other unit leaders who can also provide valuable input and can invite them to participate too by adding their email address separated by a colon in the copy to field provided. When our commissioner clicks on the send unit assessment to unit key three button, commissioner tools will send an email to the selected unit leaders to enable them to complete an assessment form and capture their input in the detailed assessment our unit commissioner has created. Commissioner Tools has sent the email to our unit's key leaders asking for their input. When each leader clicks on Click Here to View Your Information, a unit assessment form similar to the one used by our commissioner will be opened. Once completed, their input will be pulled directly into the detailed assessment our unit commissioner created and will be available for review. Remember, this email should not be sent to unit leaders without prior discussion and agreement to participate in developing a collaborative assessment. Our commissioner's objective is to collaborate with our unit's leaders in assessing its strengths and needs. That may require a different approach in the assessment meeting. Open-ended questions promote sharing. How do our adult leaders view training may be a more productive start than are all leaders current on youth protection training? Judgments shut down sharing. That would be a crazy way to develop a program plan. Wouldn't foster creative thinking. Seek to understand motivation. How would the leaders describe success for the unit? It may be different, but would it improve program quality and provide good, safe scouting? Offer suggestions, not instructions. Celebrate victories. Virtually every unit is doing something well. Identify them. They may serve as the foundation of future successes. Not all unit leaders will be ready to embrace our journey to excellence methodology, but they are likely to agree that scouts should be camping, advancing, and attending summer camp and that the unit should be growing. Successfully improving performance in those areas will facilitate improvement, and that's the purpose of JTE. A unit's success doesn't belong to any single individual or group. In identifying the unit's needs and developing plans to address them, seek to engage as many leaders as possible. And remember to link needs to district operating committee resources. It takes unit leadership and a district to grow and sustain successful units. Our unit commissioner met with our unit's leaders as scheduled to complete a collaborative assessment. Since our commissioner worked hard to develop a good relationship with those leaders and understand their motivation, it was possible to have a candid discussion and identify strengths and needs in all areas of the detailed assessment. Something clearly happened in the process. When completing an intermediate assessment to capture personal thoughts, our unit commissioner was conservative in evaluating program health. It was rated 2.5 and focused on limited resources, the need for additional trained leaders, and the fact that the patrol method wasn't being used. After completing a collaborative assessment, the overall rating rose to 2.8. How did that happen? For starters, program health rose to 3.4. The team recognized that all scouts advanced at least one rank since the unit was formed, certainly a cause for celebration. They also noted that at least one more court of honor each year would be good. It was agreed that short-term camping deserved a three. It could be improved. 10 to 11 weekend outings each year would be better than six. Long-term camping received a 5. 100% of the scouts went to summer camp last year and are excited about going again this year. Service projects received a 3. The troop is helping its charter partner with its annual food drive, but more opportunities would be better. Patrol method received a 2. 
All agree this clearly was an area where improvement is needed. Note that no effort has been made as yet to develop specific action plans to improve program health, but there is now agreement on the unit's strengths and needs in this area. Progress is being made. We can now see the collaborative assessments of planning and budget, membership, program, and volunteer leadership have all been completed. As agreement was reached on each element, our unit commissioner gained greater insight and the overall assessment moved a bit. After discussion with the unit's key leaders, the score resulting from a detailed collaborative assessment rose to 2.8. Still not a perfect unit, but the detailed assessment identified strengths in retention, advancement, and long-term camping. Particular needs were also identified in planning and budget, patrol method, and leadership and family engagement. The team worked together to complete a collaborative assessment and is well prepared to develop plans to improve unit performance. Our unit commissioner still hasn't marked completed the scheduled contact at which the collaborative assessment was done. The unit service plan is yet to be completed before that can be done. Take a look at the next video in this series on the unit service plan to see what comes next.